as a policy chairman, we thought it was very important for our members who may have to make some votes on legislation that would affect the natural gas industry to see things firsthand, see it up front, uh, see what all is involved in the spin-off industries that we've seen growing out here in Washington County, Pennsylvania. Two things. One is the sub uh, subsequent jobs that have grown out of this industry. Uh, we actually had a physician come talk to us and talk about how much his business has grown because he provides employee health services to the industry or related jobs. I think the other part that we've seen is this is not just about fuel. This is about all the subsidiary type uh, amenities that we use, whether it's plastics, uh, healthcare related tools and devices that are done by natural gas and wet gas as a come out of that. I think a lot of people think it's only just about energy and fuel, which is very important. And strong energy policy makes strong jobs, but there's an awful lot of other commodities you and I use on a day-to-day -day basis that are produced because of this is happening right here in the United States, Pennsylvania, Washington County. We learned about how many regulators we actually have working on this. As you know, we went from about 150 wells down to 17 wells operating in Pennsylvania, but yet we have over 200 regulators or people in that industry that are still providing tremendous oversight. The second part our listeners need to think about is the electric you use on a day-to-day -day basis right now, a large percentage of that is produced by natural gas. One of the cleanest, most efficient fossil fuels are producing electricity. We can't store electricity, so we need to be producing it on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's happening right here in our own communities.